Hello everyone and welcome back to Moonfox Modox. Today we're gonna unbox the Schleich Horse Club Riders Cafe. This set was released in 2019 but it was supposed to be released in 2018, which I thought was pretty interesting. I got this set from Amazon and I wanted this for so long, but just one thing. When it arrived, it was actually opened and it actually looks like someone has opened this on purpose. So I hope everything's in here. I am not sure yet because I haven't checked. So we're gonna do that later. And while we're back here, here we have the contents of the set. And these are the character characters featured in the set. Here we have some lovely pictures. I love this, so pretty. And down here, as usual, we have some other horse club sets. So I guess we'll start from the bottom this time, but we're gonna open it. This feels so odd, but I'm not gonna open it on the top when it's already open at the bottom. First we have the floor and these the floor these planks are textured to be to look like wood. A wall. More walls for the cafe. A roof. Here we have stickers and the assembly instructions. We have some stickers poking out there. Uh, it feels like it has just been shoved in here. And here we have the beautiful Pinto Stallion. His tag. The first person. Accessories. And more stuff for the cafe. The second person. Doors and curtains. I think these are the counters. Tons of cute accessories. Those cupcakes look delicious. And this is for the horse, or the horses that visit the cafe. Chairs and tables. Uh, the display window. And last but not least, we have an oven. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna remove all this stuff from the plastic packaging and put it together and then I'll be back. I'm back and I got the cafe put together. It was really easy to follow the instructions provided by Schleich. Though there was a bunch of stickers and I'm not great with stickers. So Let's start with the interior. This blackboard is a sticker, so we have these fixed prices and everything. It's really cute. The countertops and the stove are all fixed to the floor. You can move them, but they have designated spots, so to say. So they don't move around, but I love all the details on this and you can open the stove which I really love and also the floor has a really nice texture to it I love how much detail they put into this really nice 
On the side we have these beautiful roses climbing up the wall here and I love that because they look absolutely beautiful. On the back here as you can see we have these adapters for Schleich fencing. And we did not get any Schleich fencing in this set but if you have some and if you want to place a pasture here or a small paddock these will allow you to do so. Here we have the front of the cafe and we have this really large really nice window and we have a door that opens and closes and it even has this little keyhole. We also have the cafe sign and this is a hitching post for if you want to tie up your horse while you are in the cafe and take a coffee or a cupcake or something like that. It's really practical. Uh, just let me move this around to a more pleasant view. I love looking at this. It even has these curtains which is really nice. One thing that I just want to say about this set, I, I really love this set, but I would love to have a small refrigerator for the building, just the same size as the stove perhaps, or even smaller, just so the guests can have a cold drink in the summer, and also of course for the milk, because it will spoil if it's not kept cold. Anyway, now you've seen the building, let's move on to the accessories. And there's a lot of accessories. We got so many awesome accessories in this set, so I wasn't quite sure how I would show them to you in a way that makes sense. But I'm thinking that we're gonna start with the cafe furniture. And first we get this lovely parasol and you can tilt it any way you like and it is really nice sunny yellow color with a ton of details and you just pop it onto this foot and there you have it it has really nice details everywhere we also got this sign which tells us the menu and the prices and it was stickers, of course, so I had to put them on myself, and I think it turned out decent. You can fold this, and you can fold it up for easy storage. Here is the coffee maker. It's really cute, and this also has a lot of details. Not so, mu not so much at the back, but in the front. Really nice. And of course we need a till, so we got stickers for this um, number pad. It's a cute color. I'm gonna put this over here just in the meantime. So four of these really nice red shares are included in this set. They are quite sturdy and I love the design on these. It is simply adorable and they are very well made. Love these. And we get two of these tables. And you can remove the legs, this part, and fold this. So if you don't use these tables, you can fold it, you can take it apart fold the legs so it takes up less storage space but again really nice details this look very realistic and I love these tables and we get two tables in this set moving on here we have other accessories for the cafe and it's just the edibles and some decorations and I chose to use the tables to display this. We get four of these really adorable chocolate cupcakes with pink frosting. 
they are so pretty these are so tiny we get four purple pieces of pie and they have some really nice details uh, the whole thing is purple uh, I am guessing it's quite difficult to paint details this small to be super realistic we get four of these more normal colored uh, pie pieces as well this reminds me a lot of apple pie I hate to sound spoiled now guys I just wish we would get some pie dishes or plates for the pieces of pie because they tend to scatter everywhere of course we get a key to the cafe and this is one huge key <laughs> in comparison to the Schleck people but it even has this little heart on the key blade I think that's what it's called that's what it's called anyway it has this little heart and it's heart shaped here as well it reminds me a little bit of a Sailor Moon transformation one. I am, um, yeah, I'm that old. We get four cups and two of these little whipped creams that you can put in the cup. So we get four of these cups and two of these little whipped creams that you can just place in the cup to make hot chocolate with whipped cream on top and that was a really fun detail we get four of these we get four of these normal plates we get three of these yellow bottles and it's a bit hard to see but on this side it has a lemon and on this side let's see if we can on this side if we can focus it says limo it's really hard to see but I think that means lemon we get two of these high stemmed glasses with straws these are yellow as well and two of these vases with flowers and the vases have these adorable hearts on them and the pink flowers are really pretty here we have all the horse related accessories and as you can see we get a lot of those as well here we have one of the classic Schleich hay feeders that you can put on the tie up post on the hitching post so that your horse can have a snack while you have a snack and we can't have a stop without offering our horses some water so this is a standard automatic Schleck water cup and it's crazy the amount of details they put into these things this is also designed to put on the hitching post if you need we also get this standard Schleck brown halter with a lead rope, of course. We get two piles of apples, one red and one green. And this crate to store the apples in. And these are also stackable, so if you have more than one, you can stack them on top of each other. Here we have the bridle and it is a dark brown color. It's not black, but I think it looks black on the camera. But it is actually a very dark brown, but it has a ton of details. The reins are a bit stiff because they're new. And we get this beautiful saddle with saddle pad. <clears throat> and the camera makes the saddle pad looks like it's metallic blue it's not it's just a regular blue but it's a really pretty blue and the saddle is a really really dark brown it's not black 
but again it has amazing details. These are the people that comes with the set and I used one of the four chairs to prop the girl up so she doesn't fall down. This is the cafe owner slash worker and he can move his arms which is really nice and you can remove his apron and his apron has also a ton of details and it is in a soft softer plastic rubbery material so I think you can also if you don't want him to be working in the cafe you have someone else you need to work in the cafe I think they can borrow this as well And this is how the cafe owner slash worker looks without his apron. He can also move his legs so he can sit down. And he has these amazing details in his belt buckle. It looks like a running horse. I love all the details in his clothes. Here we have the girl in a fixed riding position. And Horse Club named her Emily and they named and they named the cafe owner Tom, but you don't have to keep the names, of course. She can move her arms, but her legs are in a fixed position. But I love the color of her pants and her shirt. It looks so pretty. And it has details everywhere. One thing I've noticed with Schleich girls is that they often have their hair over their shoulder rather than it going down the back and I miss that a little bit because I have long hair and it is so annoying when it hangs over my shoulder and it gets in the way I would rather have it down my back but it's just a thought I really like this character and I've been looking forward for a very long time to get her Here is the model we've all been waiting for. I saved the best to last. This is the Pinto Stallion and Schleich named him Pino. And he is meant to be Tom's horse. He is a beautiful Pinto Stallion. I love his markings. Look at that face. His mane is really interesting. It looks like it is shifting right in the middle. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or if it's a design flaw. But it gives him a really interesting look. I love his head so much. He is so beautiful. Again, I love his face marking. He's really pretty from this side as well. I'm so sorry guys, my camera has so much trouble focusing today. Look at that forelock. Love how it kind of moves in the wind. He has some muscle definition. And the spots are actually not black, they are very dark brown. I perhaps wouldn't buy the entire set just for the model unless you can resell the set but if you're also interested in the cafe and some of the accessories that come with it I can highly recommend it I don't think you would be disappointed by this model Here he is all tacked up and the blue saddle pad looks so gorgeous on him and I also put the rider in the saddle and she rides really well. She was a little bit stiff at first but after some manipulation I managed to get her into the saddle but the syrup leathers are just a little bit too long for her and I well, he doesn't stand too well. This leg is 
a little bit uh, it needs some repositioning I, just, I can really recommend this playset because it looks small but it's really really huge you get so much things you can do so much with this it's so much fun playing with the setup and how you want it to look and I'm looking forward to putting more people in this and to make little scenes that's gonna be awesome but I hope you enjoyed this review of the Schleich Horse Club Riders Cafe playset highly recommend it, it's so much fun and I hope to see you in my next video until then remember to always reach for the moon and Bye!